Okay, here we are back in Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. And you may have noticed this is somewhat of a short video compared to what you've gotten used to lately, hasn't it? So anyway, we are here to wrap up the chapter, and this is going to have some of the reveals coming towards the greater storyline. So I'll point out a couple things as they come up, but we'll get the show on the road.
So I stopped here to show off the food stall's Tetra Gelato, so if you read it gives you strength, defense, art attack, art defense, plus 25%, all for 700 Mira. That is pretty damn tempting. It's an all-around buff, it gives you pretty much everything other than health regen, and I, kinda, I need to look and see if you can actually make that, because that would be an incredibly valuable item for certain fights. It could definitely skew things in your favor when things are supposed to be stacked fairly highly against you. Anyway, I can talk about this quest real quick while I'm here. In case you're wondering why we're doing it, it's not just for the AP reward, but this is also one of the quests that yields you a part of a set that you can trade to collect for an ultimate weapon piece. So by going ahead and doing this, you get the next piece, but of course, it only matters if you have the ones before it. And as far as I know, I do have all of them to date. I've been looking around, hopefully I've been thorough enough, but we'll find out when we finally do get the option to trade with Colette. I can almost taste that grand prize.
So if you notice, the monsters are running away from me. I believe this is the effect of the intimidation quartz that I have equipped on Machius. I don't know what all the criteria is to make it work, but it's probably something along the lines of having that equipped and then being a certain level. Kind of what I'm guessing. It is possible that you just may have to complete the storyline purposes for being here and then just having it equipped will cause them to flee from you. Like, I haven't played around with this enough to test, but right here I'm trying to show you that they're fleeing from me. I no longer have to worry about dodging them, they go through the effort of dodging me. And as far as I know, all of them will do that. The only ones I'm not totally sure about would be the special monsters that are stronger than normal ones, basically the spinners. I didn't really want to go over there to find out, I just wanted to go over here and do this for the AP bonus. So if you're wondering why we're here, it's to show that there's a hole in the defense perimeter that was set up, and doing so yields you an AP reward.
sure are more people out than there were yesterday. They must have all come to see the Imperial Family's Parade.
Toa, Angelica. Oh, I didn't expect to meet all of you here. Well, isn't this a coincidence? Student Council President Herschel? We certainly weren't expecting to encounter the two of you out here. Huh? Looks like the goddess herself brought us together. And now that she's granted us this chance, what do you two say we... I'm afraid we'll have to decline. We have our field study to attend to. What she said. Lame. Did you ride your orbital bike all the way here? Yeah, you can make it from Trista to here in 40 minutes on a good day. So I plopped Toa on the back of the seat and off we went. <sighs> it almost seems like a metallic horse. It's pretty cool. Angie's not the most careful driver, so it wasn't exactly what I'd call a leisure cruise. I really love the festival atmosphere, though. I just wish I could enjoy it without the threat of a terrorist attack hanging over us. Wait, how do you know about that? Did Instructor Sarah tell you? Yep, I've been helping out a little with your field studies, too. Yesterday, I was the one who passed on the governor's request to Instructor Sarah, for example. I got pretty worried when I heard about terrorists, so Angie and I decided to see what was happening. I see. It appears you've done much for us without us even realizing it. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I'm not doing any of the heavy lifting. Oh? I thought you were helping with all the paperwork and travel arrangements so everything runs smoothly. And that you're the liaison for our contacts in every region because Instructor Sarah keeps slacking off. S seriously I swear, just when I'd started thinking she was better than we were giving her credit for. Yeah, that's a little much, even for her. It, it's fine. Really. I'm sure she's got lots of stuff on her plate. Anyway, I heard you guys got to meet the princess. I'm so jealous. I wish I could have met her too. <laughs> we could hardly believe we met her ourselves. She really does look kind of angelic. Uh, if I'd only shown up earlier and tagged along with you. <laughs> princess Alvin's beauty is definitely one of our national treasures. But your sister's quite the looker herself. I hope I get a chance to meet Elise again someday too. Actually, she's attending the garden party as Princess Alphen's attendant right now. Really? <gasps> oh, if only I could get Princess Alphen, Elise, and V together in the same place. <gasps> we could call them the Fabulous Fifteens. Don't look now, but I think you're being co-opted into some sketchy-sounding group. Sounds good to me. This was gonna happen. I would have listened to my father and attended that party after all. But no, no, I couldn't have. I couldn't spoil my charms by wearing a dress. Oh! Oh! I could have worn a tuxedo instead! Why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, Angie? Maybe you're putting a little too much thought into this. Hmm. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. Crow? Oh, we didn't know you were here either. Fancy running into you. <laughs> yeah. You said you were going to the summer races, didn't you? How'd the main race go? Ah, uh, don't ask. Who could have guessed that Black Prince would come from behind in a burst of speed like that? And then Lumber Blitz barely squeezing past into second. There's no way anyone could ever see an upset like that coming. Oh, I guess I won with those four to five odds. Glad I decided to pony up some cash for that after all. Wait, you're the one who won the special prize? Oh, stop feeling up lady luck, would you? You're just sore because I've got better karma than you. <laughs> Angie really does have scarily good luck with stuff like this. Hmm. Sounds like the bell's chiming three o'clock. I guess that means all the ceremonies must be wrapping up. Perhaps we should make another round of our patrol areas, just to be safe. That seems like a sound idea. Yeah, we should get back to our patrols. It was good to see you, everyone. Okay, take care out there. Huh? Back to work already? I've got my Arcus with me, so just give me a ring if anything happens. Will do. Huh? What's 
wrong? It feels almost as though... Hmm. My guess would be there's been an increase in the water pressure. Yeah, this must be... <sighs> is this... Is it some kind of festival attraction? I don't think so. Must be the terrorists. Yeah, it seems that way. Angie, Crow, give me a hand. We need to evacuate everyone. The military police have their hands full. We need to handle this ourselves. Right. Gotcha. Okay, let's all. No, we've got this. You have something else you need to take care of. Something important. More important than this? What do you mean? Modern Park. So this is just a diversion? I bet on it. Good day, Your Excellency. I do hope you'll forgive me for showing up to this party without an invitation. Ugh. You. Truth be told, I have no real qualms with you, personally. However, you are a willing collaborator with the man we loathe. So I'm afraid that makes you guilty by association. I figured that's what you were after. Let those girls go. They have nothing to do with this. Your Excellency! We just can't do that. After all, they've yet to play their biggest part. That of your faction's most shameful thing. Oh, but fear not. I have no intention of taking their lives. Uh. Elise! Rain? Rain! What are you doing here? You made it. Dad, are you all right? The brats from Thorpes. So you've come to meddle in our affairs again, have you? Not this time, I'm afraid. I won't allow you to interfere. <laughs> Is he controlling those beasts? So that's how those monsters came to be running around out here. Rain! Be careful!
Elise! Your Highness! You! <laughs> my, my, I can certainly tell when I'm not wanted. I suppose we'll just have to leave then. Go, my beasts! Strip them to the bow! going to lose to a couple of these things. Two large monsters. Combat pattern analysis complete. All right, let's take them down. Yeah. Okay. So if you remember the extermination monster, Bring it on. we now have to fight two of them at once. My turn. All things considered, this would not be a bad fight, but the one problem we're going to have is simply the no. fact that they're going to home in on Elliot. They will literally attack no one but him right. until he finally does die. Ha. So, if not for that, this would be Breeze, but like I said, it's... Go. They have zero in on the weakest guy, and there's there. really nothing I can do because he doesn't have enough speed to get his turns off. And Leave even when me. he does, he doesn't actually have enough Art reach on the uh, buff to huh. keep himself sustained. Unfortunately, to make things worse, by having such a small HP pool, <laughs> even the healing Machias can give is somewhat limited. So, yeah. But on the plus side, I believe I need... Or no, I don't use Detector, but I use every other one of his you have my face. So you saw the Lullaby already, that is the Cleanse move. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am going to use his Esper before they kill him. So, everything here is essentially the same. It would be really nice if I could have gotten a counter attack, but... Leave it to me! So... They are still Mark weak to Earth, since there are two of them that kind of justifies of the use of Grand Press. I'm going to have Reen and Laura try to get as many link attacks as possible, debuffing the enemy as we go. Here, a zero R turn has come up, and I've been, I was kind of tempted to do I want to use Flame Tongue or Arc Slash. And I'm using the Rush now, because they're close enough together to where the attacks will hit both and in case you're wondering, you don't really need to hold on to the rush because it's not going to be too helpful and just due to how easily these things are to stagger, you can easily get the bravery points back. My turn. Right there, the enemies were sealed, that's why they couldn't do anything that round, in case you were wondering. I tried to use the little by once again to try to put one of them to sleep. That way I can just ignore them for a turn and try to stas lock the other. Unfortunately, I do start running out of luck here when it comes to the stas effects. Green and Laura applying theirs in like a 10% success rate. You can see that it was successful on burning one of them, but the one I need is sealed. I bet will freeze. And the drawback is freeze and burn are opposites. They one of them can cancel out the other, so you have to factor that in you you have have which stats effect you're looking to apply. Oh no, you don't. So as a result, I don't want to use too many of Laura's moves on the one that was on fire because just to save the stats effect, and it does not apply a new one in its place. This does come into play later on when I selectively try to use different things so that I don't overwrite one stats effect with another. As far as I know, only freeze and burn are incompatible. I don't know if water will also put out a burn, so I'll try to refrain from using that. It's just I am shooting the dark a bit. So once again, they're close enough together, I have enough points for the rush, I can go ahead and use that to get some extra damage in. Unfortunately, these things still do have a massive amount of HP that takes forever to cut through, and I'm not really any stronger since we last fought. There are no new weapons, no major level ups, just nothing. Leave it to me! So I'm trying to remember if right here, yeah, I did use energy Hang shell. In there, everyone. You I have should my have used Elliot to steal the turn here, but I saw his coming up, that's why I didn't bother. You can see I was opening the Esprit cool. menu to do so. Here we go! Denying them that 10% heal is pretty effective too, because 2,000 hit points approximately is quite right. a lot. Just for you. Seven, 
wonderful audience. So in case you're wondering about his S-Break, if the enemy is My not immune to Confuse, they're Confused now. No maybes. It's a guaranteed applica application of Confuse, so both of them are Confused at the moment. As a result, that is a one-turn Reprieve, but unfortunately it's not quite enough. Although I did get one to attack the other, which does offset the healing from earlier. It's just I need to reapply a seal, otherwise Elliot's going down. And from what I told you at the start of the fight, you can guess he's going down. Right. right around here is where I resigned to that fact, and I just basically have to hope that they don't go after him. Like, I don't understand if the AI can see what the weakest target is and select based off of that or what, because they ignore everyone else. They haven't hit Reed once. Machias is pretty much left alone. My turn. Other than just some splash damage here and there. Same applies to Laura, really. Like, I genuinely have no idea why they zeroed him out so much. My turn. Right there, I was making sure to see Flame Tongue is effective against a 15% damage bonus. And seeing how these things have so little art defense, that is quite a bit of damage, even though Reen is not really caster focused, like I have Maki set up to be. In case you're wondering, that's why Maki is out damages Reen so heavily. It's just due to the way I have him tooled. And ironically, I do get a Hydro Cannon Quartz to drop, which. Like, I can't find a use for it. It'd be oh, one thing I could sell it or something, but I don't know if you can. Like, My turn. I haven't seen a store that's actually willing to take a quartz. Arcus, activate. Uh -huh. So right here I'm in no rush to bring Elliot back, because I know as soon as I do he's gonna get zeroed out. I was fishing My for turn. a faint there to be honest, but I wasn't that lucky. And I was hoping that maybe the enemy would go after someone else, since Elliot went down already, I waited a little while to bring him back. Unfortunately, aggro rules here aren't quite the same as Sunrider, so Leave it to me. he is going to be going back down. Ultimately, it is a waste of items, and to be honest, the there, only everyone. time... I don't actually think I bought a single consumable item. Everything I have up until this point is something I found on the ground somewhere. Here we go. Or gotten as a drop. So right here I'm using Autumn Leaf Cutter to try to delay the enemy, which doesn't work. So as a result, bye bye Elvis. I'm sorry, everyone. Of course. Ha! So freeze right. is an effect that is going to deny the enemy one turn, and they're going to take the same amount of damage as if they were burned, I believe. So in case you're wondering, yes, freeze is superior to burn, it's just My so turn. many enemies are resist are just uh, flat out immune to freeze. I also got the faint in, but if you're wondering, I'm not using the fire spell simply because it thaw him. My turn. It's my turn. So I'm renewing the link for the EXP that you get for winning the fight. And as punishment, I go for the overkill. Evil will fall before my blade. 2.1. Uh, EXP modifier, everyone other than Elliot levels up, so I have to heal him after the fight. Brave leveled up, giving Laura Laforte as well as the superior strength buff at the start of every fight, as well as when she goes critical. I did it! You can see my material on the Hydro though. Cannon. <laughs> Not bad. And we have some more scenes before the next fight, but there's still three fights left. <clears throat> we must pursue them at once. There's no time to rest. Dad, you're bleeding. This little scratch? Nothing to worry about. But never mind me. Her highness is in danger. Please, go after her. All right. Wait! Take me with you, too. Patrick? No. I need you to stay and protect everyone who's still here. Those monsters are still roaming around outside, and the governor is wounded. But... Please, if you're here, at least I can go knowing my father is in safe hands. <sighs> fine, fine, stay. That's settled then. Let us give chase then. 
Your Excellency, please let the Railway Military Police know what's happening as soon as you can. You can count on it. Damn terrorists! Elise, Princess Alphen, please be safe! Monsters! No problem. We'll just cut our way through. Yeah.
Okay, so before this fight gets started, just pay attention to the area we have, the party we have, and then you may want to think back to the intro Watch song out, to figure out what's going to be waiting beyond this area. My turn. Anyway, right here we have the cursed sculpture enemies. These are not really that impressive. So you can see that they're weak to Mirage, which I genuinely, generally don't have. So I won't be able to take advantage of any particular elemental weaknesses. The good news is they're actually fragile as a glass, and physical attacks and everything will do enough. So right here I was just trying to do some risk versus reward calculations, or cost versus damage. As a result, I will be using Heat Wave, I think, with Machius, but right now we're really going to try to delay this guy as much as possible and just focus him down. Because, like, he's at half health already, and it's just the first round. We're giving the HP regen to uh, Green. You can see how hard we can punch these things pack, which is kind of bad news for Elliot. Give it up, everyone! Like, he is in danger of dying here if the enemy shot him goes for the melee attack instead of the range. Here we go. Right here I want to take advantage of the crit. Then I get the follow up. Power strike. And then there was one. So yes, these things are that easy. It's my turn! We actually have an opponent that has a reasonable amount of HP. Using an energy shell this. here to heal up Elliot so he can withstand another shot. Of course. Then I just have to take this thing down before it takes me. So one of the reasons why I think this thing is actually so weak is because they threw it at you out of nowhere with no warning in front of the actual recharge station. My turn. So when you're coming here, you think, okay, boss fight is in the next room, not actually on the path. Now it's just complete. So it would have been nice to get some Celestial Bomb EX to offset the two that I had, or the Revival Bombs I had to burn during the previous fight. Instead, I think I get the Tier All Bombs, which are still decent. It's just Here we go. Uh, as helpful, I think. I don't even know if you can buy the Celestial Bomb EX. It's either. my turn! How about anyway, this fight's winding down. Go. I'll pick you up. I used the Craft on Machias because it applies defense down. Falling out with an armor breaker. Hands are empty. Right. And right here, I was concerned about losing uh, Elliot, so I didn't want to. Not. An opening. So I didn't want to do anything that would leave him at risk should Rain also miss. We can see Rain not only landed, but he unbalanced the enemy, so we got to do the link attack, and down it goes. 1.7 EXP modifier, every two tier on walls, <laughs> and I can also heal up for the next fight. So like I said, if you've seen the intro and remember it, the intro song, you'll know what's coming. It's far enough! What? <laughs> Eat that! <laughs> Rain! You came for us! Show's over. Let Her Highness and Elise go. Now. Considering all that you've done, I can't say I'd be entirely comfortable letting you go free. But if you release them, we might be willing to consider it. It's five against three. 
You've got no chance. And fleeing while trying to carry two hostages? I don't think that'll work out too well for you. So, would you please just let them go? <laughs> impressive. Very impressive. I had no idea Thor's was educating such gifted students. Save it. Look, we can keep this stalemate going all day, or you can release them. It's up to you. But I'm warning you, if there's so much as a scratch on either of them, you'll wish the police found you before I did. Rain! Rain! Very well. We surrender. I'm not so proud that I can't see when we have no chance of victory. Then... So you'll let them go? Absolutely. If you can defeat him, do it. <sighs> A volatile anesthetic? Fear not. I simply thought it best they sleep for a short while. After all, this is hardly a sight fit for the eyes of such innocent maidens. Damn it! Another monster? What the? A howl? This roar. Just during this field study? There's no way this thing is going to take us down! My blade is ready! <laughs> Too impetuous to know when you're beaten, are you? Go, Dark Tyrant! Bring down the merciless hammer of judgment upon these hapless fools! And here's the guy from the song a skeleton dragon. This tough. Careful! So, right. the one thing you have to worry about this guy is that he heals himself as he damages you. The Shut more up. guys, like, it's based off of how many targets he hits. So right there, he hit three, he got 1,200 HP. So I need to kind of space right, out the party, or at least this. give him a target to the others and restrict right. his healing that way. Give it up, everyone. Use resounding beat move to lose my defenses and my offense. Also gives me the region right. that's so damn helpful. And if you notice, this guy is really weak to fire. So I can use Heat Wave on Machias, it's cost efficient, I'll be able to use it quite a bit, and like I said a few times already, he set up as a caster in my party, so his fire spells are going to hurt. Two thousand. 
It's right there. It wants to channel. Right. Laura and Elliot can't impede it, Shatter. but Laura frees it. As a result, that's why I'm unloading the mirror. So I said before that if the if the character you're controlling can't impede the enemy, you can still interrupt them by applying certain status effects. Freeze is one of them. That's why the channel was interrupted, and he's a sitting duck. Like I said, I'm not using any fire right here because I don't want to thaw him. I want him to take the freeze damage and just be immobilized for a turn. So if you notice, Heat Wave will come after his turn. Aqua Bleed will have no effect on the freeze status. I also get the crit damage. Marine, pretty much the same premise. I go ahead and do the Flame Tongue, I think. Even though realistically, I probably should have hit him there since it would have been a crit. I could have used uh, Autumn Leaf Cutter to reposition. So, he's now burned. He's going to take even more damage. No works for the Wicked, huh? I didn't notice Reen actually out damaged him. That's actually from the base damage of the spell, I think, rather than the actual arts right. stats of the two characters. Reen's is more expensive, thus it has a higher base. I think it may have been because I was playing the Chrono Drive, I didn't actually use the uh, Autumn Leaf Cutter last turn. Leave it to me. Anyway, I can go ahead and fire up another Heat Wave, uh, then we can try to burn him next turn so he takes another good chunk of damage. I'm only healed for 400, the burn he t uh, right. still did 3,300 damage. Shatter. So I failed to freeze him again, but it doesn't really matter. Still a lot of damage. And... Oh, hey, there's the burn. Go. So, this guy has a large HP pool, but he doesn't quite have the defenses that other things up until this point have had. Which makes this fight a little bit more manageable. So right here I was looking for the craft button so I could use detector, that way I can stagger it potentially. But if you notice, only two weapon types can. And even then, they're not very good. Right. Argus, activate. So it gets a turn. It uses Great Quake, which is probably its most dangerous move. Too slow. Unfortunately, the fight doesn't go long enough for it Here to really amount to anything. Argus, activate. With the burn, the freeze, and just the general beatdown altogether, things do not turn out well for this dragon. Since I don't think I have actually hit an enemy this hard. Like the DPS I'm putting out here is higher than anything else I've at least shown up. Aqua Bleed, 1800. The cheapo water spell can keep up with the fire spells of the other guys. The ones that aren't so cheap. Here we go! So you know Slime Tongue is one target. He waves only 50. Aqua Bleed is something like 20. Now if you notice, Machius is the only one here who's going to act before the dragon that has an impede move. I failed to freeze it. With Elliot, I'm not even bothering. It's my turn! We can use break shot. That impedes. And gets us the kill. So yeah, this enemy looked like it was going to be really impressive, intimidating, and all that, and damn thing. No time like to waste. One point one EXP mod, but it doesn't really matter since there was no real opportunity to get anything here other than just like a. Well, you might have been able to get a double team and maybe an overkill, but there wasn't right. much opportunity beyond that. <laughs> I did it. Not a good farming fight. So one more boss fight to go before we're done. Possible. Laura! V! Roger! Hmm. Huh? What? You damned? 
What? Yeah! No. The demonic flute. Let's check and mate. Oh, that was a tough one. Fully prepared to lay down my life for our cause. It is not death, I fear. But this operation is too important to leave even a corpse behind. I'm afraid I must do what needs to be done. Even if that means harming a member of the Imperial family. <laughs> I think it's about time they came out to play. Aren't you a quick little kitty? <laughs> Just my type. <laughs> That's the sylphid I know. <sighs> Comrade S. Comrade V? These must be... We're terrorists! <laughs> I seem to recall specifically telling you to leave this operation to me. But I can't say I'm unhappy you decided to check in. Sorry, boss. But if you got yourself caught here, we would have been off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> I do apologize for cutting in, but we figured it was for the best. Comrade C decided to join us, too. And so I have. <sighs> a mask! <laughs> Comrade C, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Did my planning for this operation seem that flawed to you? On the contrary, it was almost perfect. But no plan is completely foolproof. One must always factor in unpredictable elements. As the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7 here have demonstrated so brilliantly. Say know who we are. Who are you? We have already fulfilled our primary objective. Courting dishonor by harming a member of the Imperial family who gave us nothing now. Do you not agree? No, you're right. Release them. Machius, I'm leaving the two of them to you. Okay. Got it. There. A gesture of goodwill. In the hopes that we may yet resolve this without bloodshed. What say you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7? Will you stand aside and let us leave peacefully? Like hell we will. You abducted the Imperial Princess and an innocent girl. Drugged them. What Erebonian would stand idly by in the face of such an outrage? It's five against six. This won't be easy. Uh, guys... <laughs> you got guts, kids. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind a little rough housing. No, it's only right that I be the one to test the metal. Wielders of the long sword, the great sword, the twin gun swords. Stand and face me. I shall be your opponent. <gasps> what? <laughs> Think of this as an entertaining way to kill some time. The railway military police are already here. Until then, pour out the vessel of your wrath upon me. <sighs> Interesting. He's awful sure of himself.
Ja. Whoa, what kind of weapon is that? Another relic from the Dark Ages. A double saber. That's this guy's identity. He dropped a lot of clues in the text there. If you re-watch the video, you can pick up on the clues. One other point is that these characters who go by letters, they use the first letter of their names. So you're also, if you want more tips, you're looking for a male because this is clearly a guy, and his name's going to begin with C. You would have seen him in town if you talked to the proper people, so the clues are there. If you want to find out who he is, you can deduce it yourself, or wait until My later turn. on when it's revealed to you. But anyway, this fight, right, you cannot this. win the first one. But me. from the way it plays out, you can tell My that this turn. guy, well if you're coming from trails in the sky, Seven. this guy is not a world player. He doesn't have the power of the turn. Enforcer. There you go. Pretty much the Enforcer would have already wiped out these guys, and... The fight itself will end when he uses a special move. In reality, you don't okay. really have any incentive to keep anyone standing. The only drawback is you lose the CP you built up. It doesn't really matter for the characters other than Reen because you won't have them for that. Actually, let me have a free day first, so it actually doesn't matter. But you will not be able to use any of your teammates during the next practical exam because of the transfer students. So in case you're wondering, yes it is that much like an anime and that we have mysterious transfer students surviving. Except they're not quite as mysterious as you've seen them. By the way, anyway, right here he uses the move. So that's it, we're done with the chapter. Only scenes to be found from here, and if you're curious as to who C is, then take up the clues or wait. <laughs> That's our C for you. Ooh, can't deny he's got the brains and the brawn to lead. <sighs> what power? He might even be as strong as Sarah. Just, who are you people? <laughs> From today, you shall know us as the Imperial Liberation Front. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That is our cause, our purpose. The Imperial Liberation Front? W what dictator? Freeze, all of you! Instructor! Captain Claire! Just in time. <sighs> it appears the time has come to make our exit. Is that...? Farewell. I'm sure we'll meet again. What?! A, a bomb?! <laughs> See you around. Ta-ta for now, my little darlings. Let's see you claw your way out of this grave. The passage is collapsing! Hurry! Right! Ah, uh, I couldn't leave Juan up alone. Green, you carry her highness.
In the end, the railway military police brought the chaos under control, and the first day of the festival came to a close. Despite his injuries, Governor Regnitz kept on top of things, ensuring that the rest of the festival passed by peacefully. The next morning, it was time for us to leave the capital behind and make our way back to Trista. I really don't know how to begin thanking you. You've done so much for our family that I doubt we'll ever be able to repay you. Not at all, Your Highness. There's nothing to repay us for. We just did what we had to. Oh, come now. There's no need to be so modest. It scares me to think what might have happened if Elise and I had been taken away by those people. So I can't thank you all enough. Please allow me to extend my thanks for your help as well. I'm truly grateful. Elise. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe. Group B's efforts were a great help to Cedric and I as well. Thank you again for your assistance in restoring order to the city. I'm honored, Your Highness. <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of service. <laughs> just think of it as returning the favor for your help pushing to make Class 7 a reality. Still, now we've got the Imperial Liberation Front to worry about. Regrettably. There have been signs they were up to no good behind the scenes before now. That incident in Nord, for example. But now they finally stepped out of the shadows and announced themselves to the world. They appear to be insurgents in the truest sense of the word, led by several key figures. C being the most prominent. The intelligence division is doing its utmost to gather information about these leaders even as we speak. They struck me as rather... mysterious in some ways. Even though they abducted us, they rarely showed the kind of maliciousness one would expect from terrorists. It seemed more like they were in the grip of some kind of intense passion. True. Not that it excuses abducting your highness like they did. An intense passion, you say? It did seem that way. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That's what their leader said when they made their appearance. Indeed. <laughs> All the ham-handed theatrics of a middle school play. Yeah... You can tell how gleeful he must have been to say the flames of silent anger in front of an audience. Well, it's no mystery what they're referring to, at least. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss you. Just in time, too. Your Highness? Did you come all this way just to bid us farewell? Of course. After all you've done for us, I thought it was the least I could do. Ah, is this the rest of Class 7? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Cedric Rice Arner. I wanted to thank you for coming to my sister's aid in her time of need. Allow me to extend to you my most heartfelt appreciation. You're too generous, Your Highness. Th the honor was ours. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the Crown Prince. He's pretty cute. Fee? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind if he took a few lessons in manliness from the gentleman of Class 7, though. Uh, Alfin, come on. I think that's a little harsh, Your Highness. <laughs> Well, you're still just 15. You have plenty of growing ahead of you. Still, it isn't often I see you keeping the Imperial Governor company. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I just happened to be here on business, so I thought I'd take the chance to say goodbye to everyone. How are you feeling? Are your injuries all right now? Yes, nothing too serious, fortunately. I'm still feeling it, but it shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to my old self. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see you looking all hale and hearty, Your Excellency. Thank you. 
While no one could have foreseen how it ended, you did manage to complete this month's field study. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to congratulate you for your exemplary work. We're honored you'd say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. We three directors may have very different positions on many issues, including how Class 7 should be run. But for my part, I'd like you to enjoy student life however you choose. I think the other directors would agree with me on at least that much. Dad. I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Your Excellency. In that regard, you have nothing to worry about, Your Highness. <laughs> well, if you say so. I've always found you a trustworthy man, of course. But... Ah, I see that everyone's here. Oh, it couldn't be. <sighs> Chancellor Osborne! As a matter of fact, the Chancellor and I just came from an audience with His Majesty the Emperor. I'm overjoyed to see you safe and well, Princess Alpha. Clearly, the Goddess has bestowed her blessings on us. Thank you, Chancellor. I'd also like to reassure Prince Oliver that we're starting a nationwide hunt for members of the Imperial Liberation Front. An investigation into the backgrounds of its members is also underway, so you needn't worry. My, my. Nothing gets past you, does it? Well, I suppose that means you have the security detail for next month's trade conference well in hand? Of course. I'll see to it that everything is taken care of. Ah, but where are my manners? Please excuse me for not introducing myself. I'm Giliath Osborne, representative of the Erebonian government. Though I imagine those of you who read the papers may know me better as the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Uh, it's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. Uh, um, your reputation precedes you, Your Excellency. <laughs> I've heard much about the recent exploits of Thor's Class 7. Traveling across the Empire for first-hand learning with your field studies, it's quite the fascinating program. I hope you'll keep up the good work. We shall endeavor to. Thanks. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. Ah, yes. It's been quite some time, young person. I'm glad to see your new career path is working out for you. Thank you, Chancellor. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for you. I really owe you for all you've done for me. <laughs> General Van Dyke was my superior back when I was in the army. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. What are you... <sighs> I have great expectations for you all. Nurture the bonds you share and train up bodies and wills of steel. For I have no doubt you'll need them in the turbulent times to come. Oh. Concluded. We are now more than halfway Ooh, done with the game. You're moving up in the world. So, <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. We're at 261 AP. Keep up the good work. And here's the big scorecard for the chapter. As you may have guessed, Rankin. Perfect. You guys are the best. So yeah, we get our link bonuses. Emma unlocks Auto Curia. She'll cleanse status effects. Eustis is up. To, Eustis is up to counterattack. Gaius should also reach counterattack. And we're done here for now. So I'll see you guys in chapter five. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.